Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another speed build video of our city zoo. And in this episode, we are going to add the beautiful Eurasian links from the Europag. And as I mentioned in the previous episode where we build a habitat for the European badger, I wanted to do something with an aviary for this lynx habitat. Now, if you have not seen that episode yet, I highly recommend you to watch that one as well. Of course, that one is also on the channel for you to watch. But the reason that I wanted to do something with an aviary is simply because I was looking for inspiration on Google and I found a few pictures with habitats being more aviaries than normal habitats. So I really did like this challenge of building something new. Now we already did like a very small type of aviary for the fennec fox a while back with the Af Africa pack, but this is definitely the biggest aviary we have built so far ever in Planet Zoo. And I must say, I really did enjoy creating this aviary for the lynx, so I am ready for those birds frontier. Like, obviously that is completely different, but hell, I just so much enjoyed doing this. So I can only keep hoping for a bird's pack because that is just going to be so much fun in creating tons of aviaries in different sizes, different variations. I think it's going to be just super amazing. So for the base of the aviary, I used the fences we got a while back with a free update. Now, the only thing is that what is like a bit frustrating is that almost all the wood is climbable, which is not very handy when you are building something for a good climbing animal. But thank God, there is one piece of wood that you can recolor and is not climbable for any animal. So this was the only wood I was able to use in order to make sure that the lynx would not escape from this habitat and I was still having this creative freedom to decorate the aviary on the sides a little bit. So I first made the layout of the first part of the habitat and tried to see how I wanted to do the roofing because that is quite challenging because those chain link fence pieces are only square. So you can't really easily fill like a pointy roof on the sides if that makes any sense. So that is when I realized I had to combine these fence pieces together with real normal fences because then you are able to close everything off nicely. And by using these wooden beams in the middle, like those non-climbable beams, you barely notice the difference. So I think this is definitely the way to go for, for making aviaries for your animals. But obviously, if we do get birds in the future, I do hope that Frontier is going to provide us with a few more different type, uh, different size pieces with fences and stuff. So we are able to do it a little bit more easy instead of like combining all the different kinds of things to make it all work. But I do really like the challenge in this case though. So when the first part was finished, I could just duplicate this part and create another part right next to it because else the aviary will be very small for the lynx, even though I do think it's still too small, but I can't really tell because we are playing sandbox mode and I can't really see this information anymore. I think it's a decent size, definitely, for a, a city zoo, what we are building. I think this is a perfect size for it, but I don't know if it's like the correct size. But hey, we are playing sandbox mode here. We're building a city zoo and as every each and every habitat, I'm not paying that much attention to their needs or what kind of plants and, and trees and stuff they like in their habitat. I'm really playing this game with how I like things. So yeah, just in case you are new to the channel, this is how we play here. So on one side of the aviary, I wanted to have some glass combined with the fences. This is also something I saw on Google with a picture, so it definitely is inspired of that. But I honestly have no idea where this picture that I found is from, like from what So I'm super sorry, but I honestly have no idea. I, I just saved tons of pictures, oh, well, not tons. I, I saved a few pictures of lynx habitats on my computer, but not a single one had like the name of the zoo or anything like that in, in, in that file name. So 
I'm really sorry, but I really have no idea what zoos the pictures were from that I'm using for inspiration for this habitat. So just like the badger habitat, I wanted to use like the stone fences again because, oh man, I just really love the look of them. And I think these stone fences are just really nice for this European area that we're building. But for this aviary habitat, I really wanted to combine them with like a different fence when being close to the viewing gallery of the aviary. And I think that just looks really nice and, and just for the variation, I think it works really well, to be honest. Now, the only downside was that I just wasn't able to really rotate them nicely. There's something off with this rotation for the two different uh, pieces. So, oh man, that was super frustrating. So I had to do it one by one. So first the stone wall pieces and then later on the metal fence uh, put it back on its place. Oh, it was a little bit frustrating. I really do hope that something like that will be fixed very soon in Planet Zoo. Now to make sure we are working with viewing galleries on different sides, we also make sure to close off most of the other sides of the aviaries with some colored bamboo pieces. It's not per se that I really like the bamboo, but I do really like it that they are like super uneven. So this gives a really nice vibe to the coverage of the sides of the aviary. So I really do like the look of it, even though I'm not really sure if it should have been the bamboo, but I, I think you guys see what I mean. And I think in the end, how it looks is definitely just, just worth it by doing so and using these pieces. So around the whole habitat, everything will be very dense and lush, just like the rest of the zoo, basically. Only in front of the viewing galleries, the foliage is a little bit lower and I used a few of these alpine flowers to bring in some color and contrast to the viewing galleries, even though maybe the alpine flowers are not really the best ones to pick. I think they just look really nice and uh, so yeah, I just wanted to use them anyways. So I did try to make every viewing gallery look a little bit different. So the first one was like a combination of the glass and the fence pieces. And the other one, I replaced two of the middle pieces of the fences with the wooden fences and added a window in there with the fence settings on the other side. I actually barely use this option, but for this occasion, it actually looks really nice. And on the other side, I didn't add any glass uh, or add anything else in particular. I just used the fences itself. So just to make sure that everything looks a little bit different, but yet everything does fit together really nicely. So I'm very happy with the different variations we have going on right now with the viewing galleries, but yet everything still fits very nicely together. So on one side of the aviary, I did want to make like a little shelter, like this little indoor section. Since we don't really have space to create a cave in here, and I also really don't find that idea of making a cave in this aviary super fitting. I at least wanted to make sure the Lynx has this indoor building to go to if it wants to have some more privacy, take some shelter from the weather or whatsoever. And this obviously is a very old building from years ago when this zoo was built. So it's a very simple little building doing exactly what it should do. Nothing more than that, nothing spectacular on the inside. And being such an old building, we obviously used the beautiful decals to make it all look super nice and old. I absolutely love these decals. And I also put a little keeper's gate in that building because we just really need some keeper's gate in this area because we don't really have one at all. Even though then you have to go back to like the entrance area and then a little bit further. So I think it was a nice spot to hide away a little keeper's building to make sure that the keepers are able to uh, get some food closer up to the European animals. So with all the viewing galleries and buildings in place, it was finally time to start decorating the inside of the aviary. So for the first part, I was definitely again inspired by one of the pictures that I found on Google with the different platforms and different height elevations, some branches and some rope, just to create some variation in here for the links to climb and play on. So I did use a few of the bigger rocks to create some height elevations as well, and obviously also, of course, the small faux rocks to decorate the whole area. And I use a combination in this case of the tempered colors 
and the I think they are called the tropical with a little bit of moss just to create that little foresty feeling with that little moss. I just really love to combine these rocks with uh, something else. I think that looks just really nice. Now the hardest part to decorate this whole area was to make everything still look a little bit dense and foresty because with a low aviary like this, you can't just put down every tree because they will be sticking out of the roof and that was definitely something I wanted to avoid. So I was uh, trying some trees and some bushes and then I realized that the sapling trees are just the best trees to go for and they actually look pretty nice to decorate this aviary with so I'm actually really happy that we got these sapling trees a while back because I, I actually never used them but for these small little habitats they are actually really useful for decorating your habitat. Other than that I also used the new leaf patches we got I think it was with the free update next to the year pack. And they actually look really beautiful when using them on the floor like this together with like these little rocks and stuff. I am really pleasantly surprised about how these leaves are looking and the outcome of like the flooring of this aviary. I will definitely be using this more in the future. I absolutely love it. So on the other side of the aviary, I pretty much did the same with like the climbing platforms and also add a few more enrichment items in front of the viewing galleries. So the guests can see them more up close. Other than that, it's, it's just a, a bit of a variation of the other side of the habitat. So it's, it's not like a super different area, but it definitely just works. And I think it looks just really nice. Definitely for our first aviary that we build in our city zoo. Now this aviary is of course not super big, so we can't go too crazy, but I'm definitely happy with what we were able to achieve here with this whole aviary. Please do let me know, of course, what you guys think of this Lynx aviary. I really do hope that I am able to inspire you all with this new build for your own zoos. Let me know in the comments down below, of course. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.